the first problem you face and you need to fix it when you import your raw file into photoshop is that you need to balance the raw file and it's going to open inside of camera raw so this is the camera raw interface so i'm just going to increase the exposure a little bit like this so exposure just, it just means brightness and just take down the highlights a little bit like this to reduce those hot spots on the forehead and also i'm just going to open up the shadow a little bit like this okay and just uh maybe open up the whites just a little bit like this so this is the before and the after and i'm going to click on open now once this image open the first thing you have to do is duplicate your layer by pressing on ctrl j and just remove the blemishes now this image doesn't have a lot of blemishes so i'm going to show you how you can actually remove the blemishes manually but there's a way you can actually remove your blemishes automatically using ai inside of photoshop and not just remove the blemishes this ai can also help you do your micro dodge and bomb global dodge and bomb fix your background in fact retouch your image for you and this plugin is called retouch for me so let me just play that action so you can see so i'm going to click on retouch for me right here all right so literally we've retouched this image with just one click so this is the before and the after this plugin just remove the blemishes for you and just do everything for you so the before and after but let me just show you how you can do it manually yourself so i'm going to delete this retouch from you right here and by the way if you need this plugin i believe in the link where you can get it in the description below so i'm just going to remove the blemishes right now using focus separation and also if you want my action i believe in the link where you can download it for free in the description below so i use focus separation to remove my blemishes so i'm going to on focus separation 16 bits and just for this image, I'm going to be using a blur radius of about, um, let's use 9 and click on OK. Alright, so I'm just going to zoom in. Make sure your high frequency copy layer is selected, which is this first one right here. And just pick your close thumb tool. Once you pick your close thumb tool, just increase your brush size with your square bracket key. And just press alternate on your keyboard to sample from a close by area. So if you press a hold alternate, you're going to see this sample icon. Once that icon shows, just right click and just sample from your close by area and just remove the blemishes you want to remove so make sure your opacity is set to 100 your flow is set to 100 and then is check currently i selected and you're using a soft round brush okay so just sample and just paint from a place which you want to remove like so sample and paint so the first step is to remove the blemishes from your image And those parts are looking too dark right here on the chest. You can use micro dodge bone to fix that if you want, or you can choose to leave it like that, depending on what you want. But I think we are going to fix it. So we'll remove the blemishes from this image. So this is the before and the after. The before and the after. So next I'm going to do, I'm going to use my mixer brush tool to smoothen out the skin. Okay? So just pick your mixer brush tool right here. Make sure you're using a soft round brush make sure this clean brush after each stroke is selected <laughs> very important so make sure your weight is on 30 your low is on 20 your mix is on 30 and your sample earlier is selected because we are going to be brushing on this brush layer which is this empty layer for our advice if i use my action just use my settings to get the best results all right so i'm going to turn off this high frequency texture right here i want to click on this eye icon right here to turn it off so once i turn it off i'll make sure my brush layer is selected and my mixer brush is selected as well and i'm just going to paint on the shadow separately paint on the highlight separately and paint on the middle separately now since this is a beginner tutorial let me just show you how i'm going to paint now you can see this highlight right here on the forehead i'm just going to increase my brush size like this to paint on it like this on the highlights on the forehead now you can see the shadows right here like this let me just show you how i'm going to brush that i'm just going to brush it like this according to the shape of the face of the subject like that why for the transition let me just show you how i'm going to brush the transition why for the transition i'm just going to increase my brush size a little bit and just brush the transition like so or just brush it like this for the transition like that so that's how i'm going to be brushing remember you are not going to get it once but because that part is you are actually going to get used to it all right so i'm going to delete it and pick my mixer brush too and just brush the way i explained make sure you are increasing and decreasing your brush size 
according to the part of the images you want to work on. So if you want to work on a smaller portion of the image or smaller part of the image, just make sure you decrease your brush size. Why, if you want to work on a bigger part of the image or a bigger portion of the image, make sure you increase your brush size like so. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the image right now. We're going to be brushing the highlight separately, the shadow separately, and the meters separately. All right, so I think we are good. Now, let me just show you the fun after what we just did. So, this is the before and the after. The before. And after you can see how smooth the image is looking and how good it's looking. So next I'm going to do, I'm going to crop this image. So I'll create a stamp visible layer by pressing the Ctrl Shift Alternate E. And just crop this image. So I'll pick my crop tool and just use 4x5 ratio 4x5 to crop this image the way I want it. Like so. Okay, I think like this works for me. Okay, I'm going to click on good. So I like the cropping like this. Now next I'm going to do, I'm going to do my global dodge and burn just to make the highlights more visible and the shadows more visible, I add that dynamics to this image. And to do my global dodge and burn, I'm going to come to my action and just click on dodge and burn right here. And just come to my dodge, pick my normal brush tool, make sure my flow is set to 100, the opacity is set to 100, the mode is on normal, I'm using a soft hand brush. So I'm just going to draw um, a line like this on the highlights. So I'm going to paint on the highlights like this and do the same thing right here and do the same thing right here for the cheek the same thing right here and just a little on the lips as well just to add a bit of shine to the lips and also I'm going to do the same thing right here okay and also I'll uh, do the same thing right here so basically anywhere there's highlights on the image I'm just going to paint on it just to make those places even more brighter and do the same thing right here like so okay and also i come to my bond and for my bond i'm going to draw on the shadow area like this that's for the shadow area i'm just going to draw like this for the shadow and the same thing right here The same thing right here for the shadow. I just do the same thing right here for the shadow. So, and after that, I'm just going to go to my dodge, come to my properties. If you can find your properties, come to Windows and just come to properties right here. And it's going to open up the properties for you and just feather it like this. Okay. And just feather it like this. And I'll do the same thing for the bone. And just feather the bone as well, like this. So, come to the dodge, feather it. The bone, feather it. If you feel it's too much, so let me show you before and after. So, this is the before and the after. The before and the after. Now, if you feel it's too much, you can just reduce the opacity a little bit like this. Now, I'm just going to make the eyes white and the teeth white. So, I'll come to my action. I'll click on eyes and teeth whitening right here and just paint on the eyes like this just to make it white and also do the same thing for this other part and do the same thing for the teeth okay now after that, I'm just going to reduce the opacity if I feel it's too much. Okay, now like this works for me. And now to color grade this image, I'm just going to load my lot. And if you want the lot, I'll leave the link in the this for free in the description below. So I'll come to my adjustment layer. I'll click on my load till the lot, color lookup table right here. Once I click my color lookup table, I'll click on load till the lot. Click on load lot and just look for that lot. So this is the skin to lot right here. I'm going to click on load. I'm just going to play that lot and I'm just going to reduce the opacity if I feel it's too much. So, um, let me just take it up a little bit. Okay. So, like this works for me. Let me just group everything so I can show you the before and after. So, you can see what started from where we are right now. So, this is the before and the after. The before and the after. 
and if you want to learn how to retouch full studio portrait image, continue to share right here. I'll see you guys in my next one. Stay creative.